In the City of Lawrence, we share our citizens' commitment to sustainability. And for us, sustainability means ba balancing the values of environmental protection and conservation, a strong, vibrant local economy, and, and social equity for our citizens. And the reason we're committed to sustainability is really, it's, it's what local governments do. We think about how to serve current citizens, but also how to protect and, and preserve for future generations. In the city, sustainability is taking on various forms. We're working on initiatives related to, to water, to energy, to local food, to um, waste reduction and recycling. And in this video, you're going to see several of the examples of, of programs that we're currently working on and hear a little bit more about what we have planned for the future. For the city of Lawrence, I think sustainability matters on a couple of different fronts. One of which is simply that our energy inflation uh, every year outpaces general inflation, so which means every single year the city of Lawrence and everybody in the city of Lawrence as well, businesses and, and individuals as well, they all are paying more and more uh, each year for their energy. More and more of the fraction of their budgets are going towards energy. So anything that we can do in the, the area of energy efficiency and sustainable energy, that sort of thing, that actually lowers the, the amount that they're paying in the f uh, throughout the future years on, on energy, and that's really important. We've put a tremendous amount of, of resources towards the library. This is a big project that we've recently worked on uh, from uh, the block grant program that went to uh, replace the, uh, the, the very old HVAC system in the building. We're adding on 50% square footage and yet the final energy bill is going to be less than the than, than it started. So a lot of our projects thus far have primarily focused on becoming more efficient and being smarter about our operations. Um, some examples of those include our downtown street lights that we retrofitted to state-of-the-art LED lighting technologies. We do an extensive residential drop-off program where we have 12 sites within uh, the city in public areas that would be convenient for folks to get to, like grocery store parking lots and whatnot. And, and those sites we collect uh, mixed waste paper, corrugated cardboard, and also newspaper um, and bring those back and process them at the warehouse and recycle those as well. We do approximately 200 tons a month of cardboard uh, that we recycle, we bring back to the warehouse and ship it off for recycling. Our product reuse facility is open to the public uh, citizens of Douglas County and we have everything in here from automotive supplies to paint, cleaners, stains, varnishes, uh, spray paints, and all this stuff comes in from other citizens of Douglas County that are either moving and can't take it with them or they've bought too much and so it's free of charge, which has been helping out a lot of people in this economy. Sustainability is all about our future. Uh, one of the things that we're doing, uh, one of the main things that we're doing with, this, with the transit system is we're uh, acquiring three 40-foot uh, hybrid buses that will be in operation probably in mid-August. Uh, we've also started uh, exchanging and, and moving some of our vehicles around. We're using some smaller vehicles that are a little bit more fuel efficient for, for some of our operations. Uh, most recently, at the end of last year, we uh, went into a joint venture with uh, the University of Kansas for a maintenance and operating facility. The facility is, uh, is definitely a, an upgrade for us. Uh, it included in that, in that building, we had a lot of uh, sustainability uh, design work done. In The purpose of wastewater treatment plants are to take the used water from our homes and businesses within the community and clean them up using mechanical, biological, and physical means. We then return the clean water back into the river so that it can be used further downstream. We also take the solids that are removed and use those as a fertilizer source and soil amendment to crop fields around the area so that crops can be grown into it. In it. I'm part of a group of researchers at the University of Kansas trying to make biofuel out of algae. And I'm specifically interested in using wastewater as the water source because it's a 
a free resource and instead of wasting it, using it to make biofuel. And so I've been working with the city of Lawrence to try to remove the nitrogen and phosphorus, clean up the water a little bit more, and in turn make biofuel. We're a small hydroelectric power plant located on the south side of the Kansas River just below City Hall. And we have a, a very exciting expansion that we're undertaking. We're building a new powerhouse that will essentially triple our ability to produce clean renewable energy here on the Kansas River in Lawrence. Uh, it's hydroelectric power and we use this existing dam that is also used to uh, provide water for the city of Lawrence. So it has a dual purpose and we're excited to be able to add an additional 4.6 megawatts of clean renewable energy to the grid on this existing dam. This year the City of Lawrence is competing against the City of Manhattan, Kansas in the Take Charge Challenge. The focus of the contest is to see which city can reduce their energy use um, by signing up for various programs over the course of the year. So we're being measured against the city of Manhattan in a couple key areas, including how many of our residents we can get signed up for energy audits, the number of programmable thermostat signups we have, the number of uh, residents who are changing their light bulbs from incandescent light bulbs to compact fluorescents, and also how many of our community we can, and how many citizens in our community we can engage in energy efficiency education events. Um, like, the, like the one um, downtown during our final Friday's event where we did an art exhibit called An Appetite for Energy. So we showed a local photographer who had taken some photos of um, energy use around our community and then we also had energy efficiency education and signups for all the various programs to help us beat Manhattan. Uh, so the contest runs January 1st to October 1st and the city that wins will win $100,000 for energy efficiency projects. If the city wins, we, we look forward to the, the many energy efficiency and renewable energy projects that we'll get to put up around the city as a visible reminder of how hard our citizens work to help us win the challenge. As you've seen, the city is working to pursue sustainability initiatives throughout our operations and our facilities. Um, and we've got a couple of exciting projects in the works and, and coming up soon. As, as gas prices continue to rise, we're looking at um, alternative vehicles, especially electric vehicles and, and some appropriate applications in the city. The Solid Waste Task Force is a citizen task force that's studying some recycling options and a way to expand recycling options in our community. We are continuing to pursue some really cost-effective energy efficiency retrofits in our buildings, so what equipment and lighting will save us money if we, if we change it out now. Um, we've also, we're working with the county on some local foods initiatives to support our local farmers um, and our local farmers market. And um, we, we look forward to some opportunities to partner with the local business community because our local small businesses and our businesses in Lawrence are really important to our community. And so we'd like to share what we're learning about sustainability and the cost-effective measures we're implementing with small businesses and businesses around the community that, um, that can benefit from those same opportunities.